This video is sponsored by Keen. Keen connects you to talented tarot card readers, astrologers, and psychics who have the answers to your most pressing questions. I recently had a reading with Keen and I couldn't be happier with the results. I had a lot of questions about my personal life, my work life, my YouTube, my TikTok. I had a lot of things that were kind of up in the air and causing me a lot of stress. When I went to Keen, I was just so surprised with how relevant their answers were to my situation and it gave me a lot of peace of mind. Guys, if you want to try out Keen for yourself, you can try them today and get your first five minutes for just a dollar. Their link is in my description box down below. Christmas um, secret Santa. 
in the blonde shade, I'm pretty sure. Yes, 00 Blonde. So guys, this is honestly like the perfect, the perfect like taupey, ashy blonde shade for me. I find like sometimes it's hard to get a blonde eyebrow pencil that's not too like golden. Um, but this one is perfect and it's affordable and like I go through these like crazy and I love them. And um, yeah, it's been a while since I've mentioned them and people have been complimenting my eyebrows lately for some reason. So um, yeah, it's this. This is what I'm usually wearing and I love it. Another item that I sometimes forget how much I love is the e.l.f. liquid halo glow. Jasmine and 
nose. There was a few like TikToks that I filmed where like I could notice the dryness on my nose and it was making me like so upset. Um, so since I've been using this, it's been helping to get a, get a rid of, get a, make, it's been helping to get rid of or make the flakiness around my nose go away. Um, it's working so well to do that. So I'm super happy with it. And it's just a light exfoliation. Like there's just little tiny like beads and they're not like too scratchy or anything. They don't hurt your skin. It doesn't make your face red afterwards, which like sometimes exfoliators can be a bit harsh, but this one is not. And I love it so much. I've also been loving the Summer Fridays. They're new dream lip oils. I actually have two shades. I have the, this is pink cloud, pink cloud, and it's gorgeous. And then I also have um, this shade, which is blush dreams, blush dreams. So blush dreams and pink cloud. And I've been wearing these as well, like crazy. If I'm not wearing the Milani, um, lately it's been either this or this, and I've been getting lots of compliments on them as well. They're really hydrating, really moisturizing, and like good pigment as well. Um, the downside to these would be they're kind of pricey. I think they were $36 Canadian each, which is madness, but again, I do really love them, so kind of worth it, I guess, but it's kind of like... I was almost hoping I didn't love these so much because they were so expensive, but now that I know I love them, I'm kind of, kind of considering buying the Summer Fridays, the lip, the lip butters, but again, the price is so, so crazy, but, um, must be worth it because this, the price of these was crazy and I loved them, so I don't know, guys, should I try the Summer Fridays lip balm? Let me know, let me know, uh, so much money, but I'm, now that I know I love these, I'm kind of like ready to bite the bullet, but yeah. Anyways, let me know. Should I try them? Another product that I've been loving this winter is the Garnier Green Labs. The Garnier Green Labs. This is pore perfecting. It's a three-in-one. You can use this as um, an exfoliator, a mask, and like a face wash. What I've been loving it as is a face mask. So you put it on, like you slather it all over your face, and then you let it dry and like harden. And once it gets hard and dry and it's like kind of hard to move your face, you wash it off. But it really helps to suck like all the impurities and all the extra oil out of your skin. Um, I know I was just complaining that I was getting dry patches around my nose. I don't put it on areas where I get dry. I put it on areas where I tend to break out. So that would be like my forehead, my chin. Sometimes like I'm getting a little breakout on my cheek right there. So like I just put it on areas where I tend to break out and I find it really helps to clear things up and to dry things up. And 
Oil. 